<laughs> wow, I heard about this yesterday. Uh, I saw a clip and there was like 20 minutes. I just wanted to get this, like three or four minutes. I don't need to get detail, but yeah. DPD, Dallas Police Department released video of deadly shootout with a sex offender. <laughs> shit. Police said a man who stole a car later identified as 55 year old Michael Shirley exchanged gunfire with officers just after midnight Sunday in the White Rock area. Oh my. Let's get to it. Shooting at officers had a very long criminal history. I'm Steve Eager. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. We are learning more about the shootout between officers and Michael Shirley this past weekend in Dallas after police released a dramatic body camera video. Fox 4's Alex Boyer joining us now with more. Alex. Hey guys, and you know, this is the 10th officer involved shooting in the city of Dallas so far this year. And Chief Garcia says it's the eighth time that a suspect has fired on his officers. Now, Chief Garcia says the suspect, who, as you mentioned, has a very lengthy criminal history, had actually kidnapped a woman. She was found safe inside of the stolen car after the suspect was killed by covert officers. Dash camera video shows a uniformed Dallas police officer getting into a shootout with an armed man early Sunday morning. Hey, stop! Get her! Hey, why do you shoot Officer Francis Vela and her partner had responded to the 1800 block of Barnes Bridge Road at the request of covert officers who followed a silver Cadillac SUV with paper plates that didn't belong to it. When they arrived, they saw the man later identified as 55-year-old Michael Shirley outside of the vehicle. The officers gave verbal commands to Shirley to stop and show his hands. Shirley then pulled out a handgun from a shoulder holster and fired at Vela, who fired back. Here's the shooting from a different angle. Shirley takes off in the stolen SUV, hits a curb, and flips the SUV in the 200 block of Barnes Bridge. He fires again on Vela and her partner. Two covert officers armed with rifles take cover behind a car and return fire. Shot the gun! Shirley is hit and goes down. Dallas police launched a drone to get an up-close look at the scene. That's when they made a dramatic discovery. A woman handcuffed in the backseat of the SUV. The woman said she had gotten into the suspect's vehicle voluntarily, and as she and the suspect drove around, the suspect then pulled her into the second row seat of the vehicle and handcuffed her to the seatbelt. Garcia says she is not a suspect and is not being charged with any crime. Officers rendered aid on Shirley, but he died on scene. The gun he used to fire at officers recovered nearby. He has an extensive criminal history and was sentenced to eight years in prison in 2010 for indecency with a child. None of the officers nor the woman with him was physically injured. No call is routine. This should have been a traffic stop. Instead, a violent criminal predator, I might add, chose to fire upon my brave men and women, not once but twice. And of course, this officer involved shooting is under investigation, which is standard. Uh, Chief Garcia says that overall, the uh, violent crime in the city of Dallas is down by 12 percent, but did acknowledge today that murders are up by 6 percent. Still, he says that the city's violent crime reduction plan, uh, in his words, is still moving. In you know what? Good. One one less fucking creep, child molester, pedophile off the street, and in the more rotten hell where the motherfucker belongs. Anyways, mind here, mind shot. Peace out.